In example two, we are going to solve another system using the substitution method. So step one says to find a variable to solve for in either equation. If we take a look at the second equation, you can see that x is already by itself. So we don't have to do step one. So we can just write down for step one that x is equal to 4y minus 1. We already have that x by itself, which is what we need. So we can just go ahead and put our box around the 4y minus 1. And then we can move on to step 2. Step 2 tells us to replace what's in the box into the other equation. So since we used the second equation in step 1, we are going to substitute it into the first equation. So we solved, got x by itself. So the x is the one that we want to put the box around in this equation up here. And that's what we're going to interchange. So we're going to rewrite this first equation, starting with the 2. And then right after that, I have my box. And I'm going to put in my box what I have in here, which is the 4y minus 1. And then continue on. So after that was a plus sign. After that is my 2y. After that is the equal sign, and then 3. Again, when you get to this point, you should be checking that you have the same variable. I have y's here, and I have a y here. The box that I have is just like parentheses, so we're going to go ahead and distribute that 2. 2 times 4y will give us 8y. That doesn't look like a y. Let's try that again. So 8y. And then 2 times minus 1 is a negative 2, plus 2y equals 3. Then we can combine like terms. 8y plus 2y will give us 10y, minus 2 equal to 3. Then we want to add the 2 over the other side, and we get 10y equal to 5. And finally, we are dividing both sides by 10. If we divide by 10, 5 divided by 10 is 1 half. Then from here we go to step 3. And step 3 tells us to go back to step 1 using that equation. So the x equals 4y minus 1. And since we have the y value, we can now plug it right back into here. And we get x is equal to 4 times 1 half minus 1. So x equals... If we take 4 times 1 half, we get 2, and then 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So we know x is 1. Then we're going to do the check step real quick. So let's check it. We've got to check it into both equations, the top and the bottom. We'll start with the top. We have 2 times the x value that we just found, and x we found to be 1. So 2 times 1 plus 2 times the y value, which is a half and that's equal to 3. So we have 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 1, which is 3. So we do get 3 is equal to 3. And again, if you can't do that in your head, you can plug it into your calculator. Then we need to check the bottom equation. We have x, which is 1, equal to 4 times our y value of 1 half, minus 1. 4 times a half is 2, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So it works for the bottom one as well. So we can say that our answer is as an ordered pair, x goes first, so 1 comma 1 half. Or we can write it as x equals 1 and y equals 1 half. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, go ahead and pause it and do the try this and unpause it when you're ready to check your answer. If you did the try this correctly, you should get an answer that x is equal to 6 and y is equal to negative 1, or you could have written it as the ordered pair 6, negative 1. If you have questions, let me know.